Greetings to you, beautiful soul. Thanks for tuning into the reading. These messages are for Zurich Saint Cancerian. Take the messages that apply for you. All is well, all is within you. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe. Remember to view these messages as your entertainment. You may also find some that can help you on your journey in some way, shape, or form. Be insightful um, to you. All right? So, yeah, let's get into it. So, focusing upon your money will manifest you more in abundance. Okay? So, I feel like... I feel like you focusing more upon your money in thought, in action, you will be manifesting more of it in your life. So you may need to focus more on it, your money, manifesting your money and like focus on your money in spite of the all the distractions around you because you have hidden enemies. You may have people waiting for you to fall, to fail, people that know your last name too, okay? Um, there's something mysterious going on. We are going to see what it is. Something secretive that may be good that is coming through. For some of you, keep certain things a secret what you're working on. You know, that's what I'm getting. You're also, okay. Keep certain things. Keep some of your celebrations um, just to yourself here, whatever you're celebrating. Because you may be celebrating some things incrementally. A little at a time, a little at a time. So imagine you're saving towards something bigger. You only have part of it and you're saving. You don't want to just tell someone, you know, I have part of the a part of the money I want. No, but I am saving for a bigger thing. You know, it, it may not work out. <laughs> for real, it may it may it may bring negative energy to that money that you're already saving. So just keep that humbly to yourself is what I'm getting beautiful soul. If you are the one that is um, earning here or inheriting something so that maybe, you know, after you come up with the full amount, you, you can say, this is what I'm going to do or you just do what you're doing. So that's what I'm getting with the secret card. There's someone keeping secrets from you too, like I said, and you should also be on the lookout for any type of a hidden enemy. Anyone that would want to sneak you, sneak around you, and anything like that. Family, friends. Anyways, I feel like these people cannot prosper in your energy because they're like going to immediately be exposed. I'm not so sure how. I just feel that more like it's just your time and nothing should be blocking you. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Diamonds. It's just like it's your time. It's you're on your journey. It's your, about your destiny. It's just your time. And anything on your journey is going to get like thrown off of your path. Anything that wanted to distract you. And, and like any, any spirit, any person, anything. Yeah. So I just feel your angels are protecting you. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune again. We just saw it here. With the Five of Wands. Five of Diamonds and the Six of Wands. So that's why I'm saying you're on your path to fortune and blessings and success. So be on the lookout for any hidden person. And they come in different shapes and forms and sizes. You're just going to have to suss them out. Listen to your intuition and do what is right for you. Okay? Because they may be coming as loved ones. Okay? So tell me, so what is the hidden enemy in Cancerian's money reading? What is the hidden enemy? Or what is, let's see, what is this? The star card, death card, chariot. Be, like, so be mindful of people that don't want you to win. And um, we have the high priestess. This is about your spiritual gifts as well. Yeah, this is the truth. For real, you are anointed and appointed. Look, Queen of Swords, you are blessed. <clears throat> You are really pro prophetic, really gifted with the word, with the power of your word. Don't take it lightly. Speak more, like if this is your money reading, speak more money into your life. Someone does not want you to know how powerful you are. Example, you have an ex that wants you to come back, but they want you to be dependent upon them first, or they want you to not have any money so that you can depend upon them or call them. They don't want you to know that you have powers to make sure that you always have money. So this person would want you to feel like you have, you're weak, you can't manifest with your words, that they would try to discourage you, 
like no don't do that or you really believe in that but they know how powerful you are so i'm getting police <laughs> look someone knows just how powerful your words are how much truth you speak how dominating you are with your with your gifts you can manifest anything you can do big things there is a person that is afraid that you may expose them or leave them behind when you like ice queen them out like freeze them out and go somewhere far off by yourself and not want them just want to do big things because they realize you have because you may be realizing oh my god i have you may be realizing oh my gosh i have so much power i'm just gonna focus on me someone does not want you to do that they want you to be like more soft and receiving and more in their energy they want to be able to cater to you and for you to be so like if you're a woman this person just wants you to be like a, a, a wife not you know someone that you will take take care of them and someone that they can take care of so be mindful of that energy yeah wheel of fortune but there's plans for you there's plans for you yeah, let's see. Wheel of Fortune is your success. We, whoa. We have the Nine of Wands next. The Nine of Wands is jealousy and like overprotectiveness or possessiveness. And I also feel like you have um you have people weak in their knees. You have whatever you have is so good that people are possessive over it. Someone wants it that you know what all right okay for real whether you're male or female you have that thing that people are fighting over okay that's what i'm getting i feel like you you need to really protect your energies protect your energy yeah you're gonna be getting so much money you're gonna probably get a an opportunity to move to leave all these things behind you to relocate to go somewhere completely new or meet someone new ace of diamonds so what is the nine of wands someone may have too many love interests or this is what someone is saying about you i feel like you're a mystery mystery people don't know a lot about you ten of wands and i feel like there are people that cannot compare to you you know like you haven't done some of the things that they have done i just i thought that king of wands <laughs> I'm on, mm -mm. right now you're less active than certain people i guess people that are somehow trying to figure you out like yeah you're not doing some of the things that they are doing five of swords i don't know why that came out maybe because someone is being a hypocrite Ten of Swords is next in your money reading. This is yeah, Six of Diamonds. You may be getting some money, like a little money right now, right? You're just working on your own thing. But I want it's like you have jealous hidden enemies. Watch this, the Moon card. For sure, you have double confirmation of a hidden enemy in your midst. Sometimes something about a dog also and this is the ten of swords I hear the R word Empress the Empress card and I feel like you're so beautiful naturally you're glowing Queen of Wands you're getting a lot of attention right I wonder if someone is secretly thinking, someone is secretly crushing on you too, is sec and, and secretly always thinking about you, secretly you're always on someone's mind, and they keep watching you a lot secretly, and they show up at your work and stuff for your platform to admire you secretly. But going back to this little toxic energy a bit of this person that was probably thinking or considering somehow probably maybe not taking advantage of someone I don't know yeah they, this person better be careful they better like wake up or rise up out of that thought that's what I'm telling someone eight of swords and it could be someone trying to put someone up to it whatever they're talking about yeah whatever they're talking about page of wands 
because someone else is weak someone is weak someone can be triggered their buttons can be pushed they can be peer pressured but not with you like the energy of this temperance card is not today temperance like stay back for real i am this fence is electrocuted i'm just warning you you're gonna get shocked is the energy stay back promise yeah look <laughs> this i just heard self-defense all right this card says you are a bad you know what being full of life love and possibilities and you're on your path to your best self if you like most has plans for you and then somebody would be thinking of taking your you know what how did we get here this is your money message hmm. all right your dream coming true for real like from source the wheel of fortune and the ten of cups i feel like what we're telling you is something that you needed to know because it's it was something that was in in play like recently okay <clears throat> recently but with this i'm getting bees like a lot of bees bees mean honey honey means money i feel like you are wealthy like you own something you possess something that's wealthy like and then there was someone that was eyeing it okay like i hear a group or someone is like a bandit in some way but I feel your angels, and I'm feeling you're also very fertile. Like you have fertile, a fertile body. You're very creative. You're, you have a creative mind. You have big dreams. I feel like you shouldn't tell anyone that you have this big dream. No. You should let, just let it, at least not certain people. Certain people's mind cannot hold your big dreams. Okay? But... They are in your heart. They are meant to be established. You have already set out the blueprint and God has, are, the most High has gone over them. And is helping you to achieve your big dreams. So don't get distracted with this Ten of Swords and Nine of Wands. You're very creative. I told you you've inherited something. Property or something fertile about land new beginnings kingdoms homes right new jobs or something of your own like your natural gifts and abilities you're naturally clairvoyant you're naturally like of the law or of high orders or you may have an important position in society you know you make big calls is the energy i feel like you're going to be moving to a big house or uh, uh, some some other kind of place that we're like you're level, leveling up in class in some way. Someone official. Maybe because of the energies around you. I just, but I feel like you're bringing great changes though to where you are. Three of Swords. This person, someone is disappointed. Someone, yeah, Ten of Wands. This three of wands, is, this three of swords is not your energy. It's the person that was whatever they were thinking of doing. They are sadly disappointed because they're realizing the whole. T they wasted the time. They wasted their time um, thinking of something like that. Five of swords, because you're also protected. People are watching over you. You are, they're realizing you're not an easy target. Someone is realizing you are not something that they thought that you were. You know? Five of Wands. Someone may have like someone may have even tried to bully another person and realizing it's <laughs> please, like not this one. Like no. Like they thought everyone would have um, wanted to group up against you, but no one was on their side no one wanted to talk bad about you no one was interested so they were feeling like wow that failed they're so they're not who they th thought that they were they couldn't throw dirt on your name it would only expose how they really feel about themselves so this person someone is just feeling like they failed <laughs> they failed ten ace of diamonds that's why god is and most high is telling you don't worry just don't worry Protect yourself, you know. 
be vigilant. But don't when it comes to your blessings and your money and your movement and your dreams coming true, don't worry about these people in their low vibe. Nine of Wands, Three of Swords, Five of Wands. You are the eagle. You know, you are the bird's eye viewer. You are the one with the vision. You are the one with the story. You are the one to bring the change. So don't focus upon the distraction, you know. Focus upon the signs of alignment that Mosa is putting on your path that is helping you. Universe is helping you to fulfill your biggest dreams. Your strength card. All right? Don't get weakened or discouraged by little dogs that want to go rough sometimes. That's why, like, like Mosa is about to strengthen your, your protection. He's about to mult increase it. Earth angel, make it stronger. So you may even find a partner, someone to work with. I get some of you may even get a man or a woman, something like that. Or you get a dog or some something. So you don't look like an easy target, you're not alone. Or you get something that looks like you're actually protecting yourself. Okay, no weapons formed against you shall prosper. Six of Cups. Last card. Five of Pentacles. Okay. You may have been struggling. You may have been um, dealing with some issues financially here. Five of Swans, Five of Pentacles. And some family, some things going on with your family as well. You're just being encouraged to keep moving on. You're not just, you're at this place where you're at the five. You're, you're going, you, you have a vision and intention to get out of the cold. This is where you want to get to. You're going to get here where <laughs> it's, you're more than safe and rich and healthy and wealthy. But at the same time, even when you get here, there's still more groundwork to do. But here, when you get to the page of pentacles... You're feeling more accomplished, yeah? More independent, more self-sufficient, like you pulled something off and you got to a particular level, you know? But there's so much more to come. I, but I feel you are excited for the journey and this is your thrilled. This is the energy that Mosa is liking to work with you in because he or she or it can keep delighting you with good energies, good signs. So go here, do this, all these things. You know, so you may be feeling like it is hard to break free of the old patterns and thoughts because of what you see around you. But you can do this. You can show. It's not that you're trying to show anyone. It's showing yourself that you can break through this. Okay, it's more about you and your journey. Like, leave that behind and focus upon me and you is what the universe is saying. Me, you, and your big dreams. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're about to pull something so big off. Chariot. Triumphant. You're about to pull something huge off. You're about to, I hear grappling. You're about to take power back from a toxic karmic energy. The devil card. And it's going to feel surprised that you pull the power out of its hands. Right? You may have like psyched it. You may have said, look over there. And then you pull the card. You're going to be cutting cards. Mm-hmm. And then this person feel like you like played them in some way, but you didn't. They outsmarted them because they 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 were trying to hold on to something that you somehow you had to get achieved to move on. All right, so leaving these messages here. Thanks for tuning in. Much love to you. All is well. All is within you. All of your support until this point is abundantly appreciated. May it all return back into your life as well. Take care. Bye.